Here's how you really use the Miracle Shower Cleaner. Plus, I have 15 bonus ways that you can use this outside of your shower. Let's head to the Dollar Tree real quick to grab a few items just in case you don't have them on hand. I also want to save you some money. You may have seen this recipe with Dawn, but you can really use any sort of dish detergent. I'll tell you why here in just a minute. Then go ahead and grab yourself some vinegar. I do like the Dollar Tree vinegar, but you can use any vinegar that you have on hand. Pick yourself up a spray bottle. I prefer a larger one. You'll see why here in just a minute. Dollar Tree sells some excellent cleaning gloves as well. Loving these pink ones. Don't forget your sponges. Two options here. The scouring sponge is great. Both sides have alternative uses. And I really love this elongated cleaning brush. We're going to put this one to use in some of our bonus tips. While you're at it, pick up some of this toilet bowl cleaner. I know this is a shower cleaning video, but stay tuned. The Works Toilet Bowl Cleaner works great, but in fact, I did find it cheaper in Walmart for 98 cents. I'll link that in the description box below in case you're interested. If you haven't tried the Dollar Tree's window clean solution, I highly recommend this. Grab this while you're at it. And ooh la la, not only is your shower and the rest of your house going to be shiny, your house House is going to smell amazing. Pick up some of these scented garbage bags, 8 gallons, 4 gallons, or 13 gallons. We have mountain air, lemon, lavender, and rose. And of course, we cannot forget the phenomenal Dollar Tree squeegees. If you have a glass shower door, you're definitely going to want one of these. But just as a warning, what are some things that you should not put vinegar on? Stone and granite, hardwood floors, unsealed or damaged grout, some faucets and finishes. And many would recommend that you stay away from putting vinegar in your dishwasher or in your washing machine, contrary to popular belief. The vinegar is acidic, so in time it can start to break down any sort of rubber seals. If you do have marble or stone in your shower, I have no fear. Let me show you really quickly how to get the job done chemical free. Nothing in this video is sponsored, but I do love this Bissell steam shot. Yep, it just cleans with hot steam and it works amazing. You will see all the dirt, grime, and soap come literally melt along your shower walls. You certainly could use this in any type of shower, but I just want to warn you of where you should not use vinegar and make sure that you had alternative solution available to you. If you're looking for a great cleaning product when it comes to cleaning your granite or stone, I do recommend Granite Gold Shower Cleaner. I absolutely love this stuff. The first thing that you want to do is grab yourself a pair of cleaning gloves. The Dollar Tree ones work great. Then you're going to grab yourself some vinegar. You certainly could use white distilled vinegar or you can use the cleaning vinegar from the Dollar Tree. It is slightly more acidic. Grab some Dawn dish soap and I get asked this all the time. You can use really any sort of dish soap. The key is that it can fight grease. So today I'm going to go with the cleaning vinegar and the Dollar Tree Oxy Ultra Deluxe Liquid Dish Detergent. Original scent. Then you're going to want to grab your spray bottle. Again, Dollar Tree spray bottles work fantastic. The larger the better in my opinion. Finally, if you have it on hand, grab your yourself some distilled water. Regular water is fine, but with distilled, you're less likely to have water spots left over. And my goal is to get your shower cleaner than it's ever been before. Let's go ahead and mix up our miracle cleaning solution. I like to do a 50-50 ratio when it comes to the distilled water and the vinegar. So grab yourself a measuring cup if you have it on hand. Otherwise, you certainly can just eyeball this part. Put in one cup of distilled water and then one cup of the vinegar of your choice. Now comes the fun part with our dish soap. I like to eyeball this as well. I've changed the variation over the years, but I would say less is more when it comes to this combination. So a good tablespoon is probably all that you need. Then give your bottle a little shaky, shaky, shaky to mix all the contents up. If you want to bring this miracle shower cleaner to another level, go ahead and heat up your distilled water in the microwave. I would say for about 20 to 30 seconds, depending upon the power of your microwave. Grab your miracle shower cleaner and step right Right in. If you are in your shower, spray everything down. Be generous with this, especially if you have a lot of soap scum and mineral deposits built up within your shower. Spray all of your fixtures, the floor, the cracks, everything. Get everything. This method is especially great on those glass shower doors. You can even use this on your shower curtains if you did not want to throw it in your washing machine. Now let this sit for as long as possible. 
The dirtier your shower is, the longer you're gonna wanna let this sit. Grab your Dollar Tree scrub brush or your favorite scrub brush. I really like this round one here from the Dollar Tree. It works very nicely in all surfaces, but if you need something a little bit more intense, grab this elongated scrub brush. It also has a nice gripper on the back. This is great for getting in all those nooks and crannies, especially the grout. Now go in and work your magic with your scrub brushes, getting all that gunk that's been built up in your shower over time. I have some tricks for you up my sleeve to prevent any gunk buildup in the future, so hang tight. Now grab your Dollar Tree squeegee. This works great not only inside the shower, should you need to, but also on that shower door. Here's a little trick. Keep one of these Scotch-Brite dish scrubbers in your shower, but you have to keep it upright, otherwise the contents will leak out. And you're gonna do a 50-50 combination here, again, with a few drops of your favorite dish soap. Keep it in your shower once a week. Just go to town when you're finishing up your shower routine, and your shower will look cleaner than ever. Dollar Tree does sell something that you could suction to your bathtub or your shower in order to keep your brush upright. Got some mineral deposits built up on your shower head? Not a problem. Take your miracle shower cleaner recipe that I just shared with you and dump it into a plastic baggie. Then you're gonna grab yourself a rubber band and a cleaning toothbrush. Just use an old toothbrush or maybe an extra one that you got from the dentist. Take your plastic baggie and wrap it around your shower head. Ensure that your shower head is being soaked in the miracle shower cleaner solution and then grab yourself that rubber band to secure it tightly. You're gonna let this sit for a couple hours or again longer if needed, depending upon the amount of buildup on your shower head. Once that's been sitting long as needed, go in and carefully remove your miracle cleaning solution from your shower head. If you left this overnight, chances are it's gonna be pretty sparkly in the morning. Then go ahead and go in with your cleaning toothbrush and just clean up any spots that need a little extra TLC. And watch your shower head and knobs shine like brand new. A bonus tip here for you to prevent any future buildup, I do recommend this Clean Shower Daily Shower Cleaner. Cleans mildew, stains, prevents soap scum, hard water, and other stains. My family has been using this product for years and it works amazing and it's gonna save your cleaning time immensely. You'll have some water spots that did not come up. Grab yourself the Steel Wool Quad Zero. You can use this around your shower. You can even use this on your glass. I guarantee this is gonna get up any remaining water spots in your shower. A word of caution, if you have hot and cold symbols, red and blue on your shower knobs, make sure that you do not use the steel wool on that because it will take the color off. That's how good it is. And to prevent your steel wool from rusting, when you're done with using it, wrap it in a little aluminum foil and then stick it in your freezer. The next time you use it, it will be like brand new. If you're enjoying this video, be sure to give it a thumbs up so that I can reach more people in the YouTube algorithm. Here are 15 additional things that you can clean with your Miracle Shower Cleaner. Let's not forget the bathtub. This is probably one of my favorite places to use this combination, especially for really dirty bathtub. This does work great on mirrors. If you do use it on your mirrors, I recommend that you use a little less dish soap, maybe 
a teaspoon. But as an alternative, make sure that you pick up that Dollar Tree cleaning vinegar for your windows because it is a game changer. This combination works amazing on your patio furniture. Unfortunately, I cannot show you that because I am in the land of the tundra here in the Midwest. Ever thought of cleaning your toilet with the Miracle Cleaning Solution? Yep, keep this on handy underneath your cabinet and just spray a little bit in your toilet as a pre-cleaner or really any time that you want to clean your toilet. Spray it inside your sink to clean up that garbage disposal. Not only will it make it smell amazing, it's going to help break down some of the grime that's stuck up in there. See these holes inside your sink? Yep, sometimes water can accumulate in there and sit down below causing a smell from your bathroom. Spray a little down here for good measure from time to time. Ever thought of cleaning your vents with this solution? I love it for that. The dish soap really helps helps lift a lot of the stuck on dust and gunk that gets stuck to these vents. Oh, the garbage cans. We cannot forget about garbage cans, both indoor and outdoor. I once cleaned a really dirty outdoor garbage can and it worked amazing. Do you have vases with water stains and rings? Yep, use it on that. How about inside your refrigerator? Right before you're ready to do a big grocery shop, go ahead and use some of this in your refrigerator to get it shiny and new and prepared for new groceries coming into your fridge. Ever thought about using this in your crock pot? Yep, if you forgot your crock pot liner or maybe you do not prefer them, use this. Inside of your oven, oven. Yes, yes, yes. I do not prefer baking soda in my oven because oftentimes if you don't get all the baking soda up, it's going to leave streaks in there. But this combination of vinegar and dish soap works amazing. And your microwave. Spray a little in your microwave, let it sit, and then wipe it down. In the beginning, I mentioned that you are not going to want to use this combination on your wood floors. What I like to use is the Tinco. I've made an entire video on it. I can link it in the description box below. But what if you have tile and laminate? You certainly could use this combination on those, but what I prefer is this Libman Spray Mop. It is easy peasy, and then all you have to do is throw these mop heads in the washing machine when you're done. It's especially great because oftentimes when we mop, we use way too much water. But when you use this spray mop, that is not an issue. Let me know in that comments box below if you knew all these different ways that you could use the Miracle Shower Cleaner, or shall we just say the Miracle Cleaner. Now let's make your home smell even more amazing. Go ahead and grab your scented garbage bags that we picked up from the Dollar Tree. Put those babies on there. It's going to add just a nice extra touch to your bathroom experience. Here is the Works Toilet Bowl Cleaner in action and I cannot believe that this baby is only 98 cents at Walmart. I've been using this for years and so have my parents. If you want to see some really clever WD-40 uses that you've never probably thought of before, click the video on screen now. Thumbs up, subscribe, and I will see you my friend in the next one.